Okay, so the Triat and Quadrat might not be the sexiest modules out there, but they are undeniably super useful. The Triad and Quadrat both function as flexible mixers and attenuverters for audio and CV, but there's a couple important differences. First of all, the obvious one. Triat has three channels and Quadrat has four. Second, the Triat switches have three positions while the Quadrat switch has two. The uni mode on the Quadrat is the same as the positive mode on the Triat. In this mode, if the knob is fully clockwise, the input signal is passed unchanged, and turning the knob counterclockwise can reduce the input signal to zero. Plus minus on the quadrat is the same as the center switch position of the triad. This is a bipolar attenuverter mode with zero signal at 12 o'clock. Turning the knob clockwise increases the signal to unity, while turning the knob counterclockwise increases the inverse of the signal. Negative mode is unique to the triad. It outputs no signal while fully counterclockwise and turning clockwise increases the inverse of the input signal. Let's take the output of a quadra and use that to control the pitch of a Dixie. Unipolar or positive mode will let me increase the amount of positive modulation. Bipolar mode lets me increase it in a positive or negative direction and zero it out at center. And the triad's negative mode will inverse the envelope. The triad and the quadrat work great for blending oscillators, but if you switch into bipolar mode, you can get some interesting phase cancellation by having some oscillator shapes be negative and some be positive. The third difference is that they have different summing architecture. The triad sums its outputs to the C sum output. If something is connected to either output A or B, it removes them from the summed output. The quadrat, on the other hand, sums its outputs from left to right. This allows you to create flexible groupings of channels. For example, you could sum the first three channels by using output three and use four as a separate attenuverter, or by taking outputs from two and four you could create a basic stereo mix grouping channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Because the channels are normaled from one to another, we can use one to control the amount of modulation, in this case random frequency modulation, and a second to offset it. In other words, we can control the degree of randomness and skew it up or down into the range we want. This method can also be used to make a bipolar signal unipolar. And lastly, the input normaling can be individually changed on each channel of the triad from 5 volts to 10 volts by moving the jumpers on the back of the module, whereas the quadrat is fixed at 5 volts. This input normaling means that without an input connected, the attenuverter outputs can be used to send fixed values to control other modulation destinations. The switch positions will determine how the knob position affects the values sent to the output. Bipolar mode will sweep from negative 5 to positive 5, Unipolar or positive mode will sweep from 0 to positive 5 volts, and the triad's negative mode will sweep from 0 to negative 5 volts. So by sending the output to a CV input, we can use the knob to precisely sweep through the range until we find the sweet spot we want. Using the outputs on their own can give you hands-on control of parameters that don't have any knobs, like the mod input on Plunk. Using the outputs is a great way to set up performance controls for your patches. You can use a single output to control a whole bunch of targets. What all this means is that the triad and quadrat can provide a vital utility for your system as an audio mixer, a CV mixer, a CV attenuator to constrain a large range of modulation, a precise voltage control output, a voltage inverter, or some combination of all of the above. So how do you use quadrat and triad in your patches? Thanks for watching.